In this video, we'll be installing this chrome headlight bezel on this 1996 Ford F-150. So we're going to be replacing our chrome bezel here around our headlight, parking light, and turn signal. To do that, to start, we're going to have to remove these two top Phillips screws. Now you can see what's attached and what's not. We have two lenses or two assemblies attached here. I'm going to slowly rotate and pull those assemblies forward. So now that we have our bezel leaned forward here, we have a couple of harnesses going to our bulbs. Now what we're going to do is grab a hold of our bulbs, twist, and pull out our bulbs. Now you're going to want to take note of what goes where which one goes top, which one goes bottom. Again, twist, pull out. Also be careful not to break your bulbs. Now on the bottom here, we have a little bit of a different style plug. And again, we're going to twist and pull that right out. And now we can remove our assembly, swap over our lights. So now on the back side of our light assembly here and our bezel, we have a couple of bolts holding in this assembly and a couple of screws on the bottom here holding this assembly. Now we do think there was another screw here that our vehicle just doesn't have. Again, this is a 96. A lot of people have done modifications and fixes over the years, so your bolts and sizes may slightly vary. For us, bolts we have here are 7 sixteenths. We'll remove those. And now we can slide this lens right out. Now if we spin this around on the bottom we have two Phillips screws. You can remove those. And now we should be able to lift out this lens here. Now we have our bezel completely empty. We can now take our new bezel and start to put our items back in. So now we can take our parking lamp. We're going to set it in this side first and slide down and clip into place the lens. You want to make sure that you're good all the way around here. Once you are, what we've done off camera, you may have to do this, is open up these holes slightly to get them to match up. Once you've done that, we can put our screws holding our lens in place. Okay, we have those two screws in. Again, we'll flip it over. The parking light looks good here. We'll move on to our corner light. Now our corner light is gonna go right in the corner. Just like that. And we're gonna flip it over and put our two bolts in here. Now again, these bolts might be different than what you have for your vehicle. I do not think these are factory.
All right, we're ready to take it to the vehicle. So now we're gonna take our parking bulb here, put it into place, find those locating tabs. Push in and twist to lock in place. We're gonna move on to the other bottom bulb. Do the same thing. We'll find the locking tabs. And we'll push in and twist to lock. Again, the same thing on the top. And twist to lock. Now from here, we take our entire assembly, slide it back into place, and we're gonna locate on the two top screws here, as well as pushing back and making sure we're aligned on the bottom. So now once you have your trim piece lined up, you can put our screws in place, and tighten them down. And that's it. From here, you definitely want to get your headlights aligned if you've replaced any housings or taken any assemblies out. This is where you would align your headlights, right here on both sides. Now we're going to get the vehicle ready to aim the headlights. Start with the tire pressure making sure all four tires are set at the appropriate pressure. Remove any excessive weight that's not normally in the vehicle. Find a wall that you can drive up to where the ground is level. Measure 25 feet away from that wall and mark the ground. Drive your vehicle up to that mark. With the headlights off, look for the center dot in the headlight lens. Measure from the ground to that center dot. You can use a ruler to help you out. Transferring that measurement to the wall, making a mark with some tape. On the driver's side, measure down four inches, putting another piece of tape. For the passenger side, you only need to measure down two inches. Now turning the headlights on, it is easier to do this at night or in a dark area. Locating your headlight adjuster and using a Phillips head screwdriver, turn your adjuster one way or another to bring the headlight up or down. Once the headlight is adjusted to the tape mark on the wall, move on to the next headlight. If you're confused because the beams seem to blend together, you can always have someone stand in front of the other headlight while you make your adjustments for that one. Now your headlights are aligned and you're all set to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.